In this video, we're going to talk about function calling in the latest Mistral 7b model. Now, the name is quite confusing. Mistral isn't doing any function calling itself. Instead, it's suggesting which function you should call from your code and with which parameters. This functionality makes it easier to pull in external data to our LLM applications. Let's start by having a look at the model page on a Llama. So we can see that this is supported from Mistral 0.3 and it will work with the Llama's raw mode. And it's using a fine tuning approach similar to OpenAI. So you can see we use this available tools syntax and then we put in there the functions and the parameters that we're gonna use. Then we close the available tools and then we put in the prompt itself. And if it's all working, what we should get back is a tool calls and then the name of the tool or name of the function and the arguments that we should pass to it. So let's have a look at how it works. So we've got functions, we've got our application and then we've got the LLM. So the app application is gonna send a prompt with that tool syntax and the question to the LLM. It's then gonna send back kind of another prompt that contains the function name and the parameter values. That's the first bit. Then we need to take the parameter values and call the function ourselves and get back the results, that's the second bit. And then finally, we can create a new prompt with the question and those responses kind of inside the prompt sent to the LLM and get the answer to the prompt. So there are three clear steps, extract the function calls, call the functions, and then answer the prompt. So let's have a look at how we do this in code. So you need to make sure you've got Alama running. If you're running on a Mac, it'll be running in the background. If you wanna do it manually, Alama serve, we'll do that. Then we're gonna launch our IPython REPL we're gonna import some modules, including a Llama, and then I've got a module called functions that has some functions that we're going to use. We're gonna create a dictionary called available functions, and we're gonna put in there the name of our get current weather function, and then we'll put it pointer to the function itself. If we come over to the functions file, you can see we've got a function called get current weather. It's calling the open weather map API to get the weather for a given latitude and longitude, and then it returns us back the response if it's successful, otherwise it gives us back an error. And if we scroll down in this file a little bit more, we can see the JSON schema definition for that same function. Now we're gonna define ourselves an extract function calls function. It's gonna take in a model, a question, and then those function definitions. We'll start by defining our prompts. So remember, we've got to use the available tool syntax inside there. We then put our function definitions and then we've got the question that we're gonna ask just underneath. Now at the moment, there's no way to do function calling in the Alama library. So you can see we're kind of having to put this into the prompt manually and then handle the response ourselves. So the next bit is we then call Alama generate. We pass in the model, the prompt, and then raw equals true. So that's important. We need that bit in there. Okay, then when we get the response, we're gonna call JSON load S on the response, stripping out the tool calls bit. And that should then give us as a dictionary, the, the response that we got back from the LLM. And then the, this function is gonna return the raw response, the function calls if we found any, if not an error, and then the amount of time that it took. So let's give this a try with the Mistral 7B Instruct V03 FP16 model. So this is the unquantized model. You'll wanna make sure that you do a llama pull and uh, with that before you run this. And then we're gonna define a question. So what is the weather like today in New York? And then we're gonna call our extract function calls method. And you can see it comes back with a response. So the first bit is got that tool calls and then it's got the name of the function and the arguments. Then there's the bit that we passed with our JSON parser. So that's, that's worked quite nicely. There's then no error and it took just less than three seconds. Okay, so it worked this time, but it doesn't always. So let's just run it again. And you can see this time it's failed to pass it. So you can see we've got a JSON decoding error. And the reason is because after it's given us back the tool calls, it's then given us some information saying, hey, the current weather in New York is not provided, uh, et cetera. And so I guess if this was behind an API, perhaps we do some retries until we get a valid response. But since we're working with the LLM directly, we then have to handle that code ourselves. Let's continue to the next function. So this is calling the functions themselves. So it's gonna be the call function. We'll iterate over the function calls, although there is only one. We'll look up in our available functions dictionary to find the function. We'll then call it with the arguments and we'll append the response into the array. So let's try and call that function. And you can see it comes back. So this has actually gone away to the API and called it. 
and it's got the weather in New York right now. I Google the weather in New York and I'll just put that in the bottom part of the screen and you can see it's, it's pretty much spot on. So now we want to kind of combine those two things together. So we're going to create a new function called answer question. We'll pass in the model, the question and the function responses. We're going to call alarma generate again. This time we're going to stream the response. We're going to say in our prompt using the following function responses and we'll put those in there answer this question and it's the original question and then we'll iterate over the stream and print it out and you can see it comes back the weather in today in New York is this it does then put the latitude and the longitude in and it's just probably unnecessary maybe it could have just focused on the temperature but it's all worked pretty well so let's have a look if we put all this together in in one go so let's try the weather in London we'll do the extract the function calls if it's an error we're going to print that to the screen otherwise we're going to call the weather API we'll get that response and then we're going to answer the question and then we'll print out how long it took and you see it comes back we've got the function calls we've got the response from the API and then it says based on the provided data here's a summary of the weather in London and I looked it up on Google and it's done a pretty good job so for comparison check out this video here where we learn how OpenAI's function calling works